Are you struggling to set up your streaming service with Nginx RTMP? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to stream through HTTP instead of RTMP, and I promise you it's going to be worth your while. I totally get it. Setting up streaming services can be a real headache, especially when things don't work as expected. Many users face similar challenges, and it can feel overwhelming. But don't worry, we're here to tackle this together. Here's the situation. One user reached out asking how to set up their streaming service using Nginx RTMP, but they want to stream through HTTP instead. They've set up a configuration for Haproxy, but are running into issues accessing the stream via HTTP. Sound familiar? Let's break it down. So what's going on here? The user has configured Nginx RTMP to listen on port 1935 for RTMP streams, but they want to access these streams over HTTP on port 80. This requires a proper setup in Haproxy to forward the requests correctly. Let's explore how to make this work. And stick around. I'll share a crucial tip at the end that can help you optimize your streaming setup even further. To enable HTTP streaming through Ninex RTMP, the user needs to modify the Ninex configuration file. First, they should add an HTTP server block to the existing RTMP configuration. Next, the user should ensure that the Nginx server is properly set up to serve the MP4 files. This involves specifying the correct root directory in the HTTP server block. After updating the configuration, the user must restart the Nginx service to apply the changes. This can typically be done with a simple command. Finally, the user can test the HTTP streaming by accessing the URL in a web browser or media player. They should use the format the ip i 2 viewmp 4 Fun fact, did you know that the first live stream was broadcasted in 1993? It was a performance by the band Severe Tire Damage, and it was a huge leap for technology. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that the video client, like VLC Player, needs to know the protocol it's using. Therefore, accessing RTMP content through HTTP directly won't work without modifying the client. They suggest using port 80 for the RTMP server, but caution that this isn't ideal. Additionally, they mention that to pass RTMP content through HTTP, both the server and client would need to convert packets, which could reduce performance. They also introduce RTMPT, a method to tunnel RTMP through HTTP, but warn it can add latency and may face firewall issues. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. This user points out that HTTP and RTMP are fundamentally different protocols. They explain that you cannot transfer RTMP packets through HTTP without significant extra work. Instead, they recommend using HTTP live streaming or HLS as a better solution. HLS is supported by the Nginx VOD module and can be easily configured. Once set up, clients can access videos using a specific URL format, and HLS is compatible with many players and devices, making it a versatile choice. Here's a pro tip. Always double check your configurations and test each component separately. This will save you a lot of time and frustration in the long run. And there you have it. With the right setup, you should be able to stream through HTTP successfully. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on streaming and tech solutions. Happy streaming.